the one of the question is who need to be involved in this process of inclusion. I'm sure that this is very important process for everyone because we are all discriminated with our choices and the choices of others. Both sides of these choices is cheating us and that is the reason why we are running from ourselves, others, life. That is the reason why we need to be included, to connect with life again. project Minority Inclusion Shouldn't Be Illusion. It's a project that involves two activities. Uh, one is training, theatre training, uh, that uh, deals with uh, issues of uh, inclusion in general and more specific minority inclusion. The other activity, the last day of the whole project, is the conference that uh, will be open but by this uh, performance. So the name of the conference is Different Models of Inclusion uh, because what we wanted to do is to, um, to somehow overlap uh, the different segments of uh, the society. So in one point we wanted to include um, uh, culture and arts exploring this issue and on the other hand social social uh, things like politics institutions uh, I've been invited here to, to work for an organization called Rich uh, that has organized this training uh, ending with the um, performance and the conference. And the idea is to try to combine uh, theater techniques and to give the chance to a group of young people from different European countries, in a short period of time, the chance to come together and to prepare a short performance, analyzing a social topic that is uh, minority and inclusion. So the idea of the project is actually is, it's to try to tackle and to think and to analyze this topic using arts, using theater. My experience with the people was uh, very interesting. It uh, was very interesting because uh, I had to work in uh, at least three different ways. One way was at individual level, so I had the chance to try to interact with all of them. Obviously each of them has a different personality, has a different background, has a different experience. So it was very complicated how uh, to try to give the right feedbacks and the right input, the right stimulation to the, to, to the different uh, people. Uh, then there has been another way of working that has been in small groups. So I basically divided them in uh, five groups. And in these groups they had the task, a specific task, and to try to build up a very short scene of three minutes, including the social topic that was given them in the beginning. Then there's been a third way of working that has been with the whole group together. And this for me is the strongest moments in terms of results, because obviously when there is a 15 people that are moving together, working together, the effect and the energy that is coming up is much stronger than the other moments. Uh, then there are other ways of working. There is the work with, uh, with you guys with you guys that are doing this documentary and these photo cameras, always keeping in mind that there is a reporting that it will come up, so to pay attention not to put too many times your finger in the nose and all these kind of things. Then you have the relationship with uh, the team of the organizers, Elena, 
Ticcio, 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 Tijana, which are amazing because they've been very supportive all the time. Obviously, there have been some moments of conflicts, some moments of disagreements, but all of them have been uh, crossed very nicely and everything has been sorted out so far. My name is Tikhomir Georgiev. I come from Bulgaria and uh, at the moment I am a freelance trainer. Uh, so far in this uh, project minority inclusion shouldn't be illusion. Um, I've been enjoying very much. It, it's been uh, quite intensive both uh, physically and also mentally. We've been working uh, from, from early morning until late night and uh, it was a great opportunity for me to connect to 20 or a little bit more other people. What I like the most is the opportunity that uh, we got together for many different countries, basically from the region of Eastern Europe. And it, it was great to really experience ourselves. For me today it was a great day because we had uh, the opportunity to present our full product, our performance, not only to ourselves, also to, to experience it ourselves as 15 or 20 participants involved, but also to present it to the local uh, community and the people that came as guests. And what I enjoyed the most was the moment when uh, we had so many, uh, so many young guests in, 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 in this event. We had around 16 or 18 uh, children aged maybe 8, 12, I'm not sure. But they showed us what actually is inclusion because they were running all over this uh, open space. While the elderly guests, they really compressed themselves to the corners. And for me, this was uh, the ultimate learning in this training that, uh, yeah, we can learn from the little ones that are not so, uh, how to say, limited with concepts in their heads and try to be more like them than being too serious about our own concepts and what is right or wrong and what should be or what should be not. My overall experience is that uh, I'm completely satisfied and uh, inspired of the work that we do, did here together with the, the other participants and our trainers and the, the team members that su were supporting the training. So I'm satisfied and inspired. It's very hard to write after this presentation, after this performance, and after the story of the author and these young people who are really beautiful. 
i nekako mi sad dela da sve što ću ja da kažem je suoparno i dosadno, ali mislim da jeste korisno i da možda može da pomogne neki dalji proces stvaranja ili da se unapredi, pogotovo ono što mi sad želimo da se unapredi rad institucija kulture koje imaju neke redovne programe i koje prosto moraju da shvate da je inkluzija cilj svih nas. Sad ja sam izdvojila ovde da vam pročitam izvodi zakona o kulturi, da vam pokažem koliko je on zaista posvećen toj inkluziji i otvorenosti kultura, ali mislim da stvarno nema potrebe sada, to su neke stvari koje sada više ne imaju smisla posle da kažem ovaj kreativnost i na delu. Ono što sam htjela da kažem s praktične strane, koje su to aktivnosti Ministarstva kulture koje smo do sada sprovodili, I uvijek naglašavam da se sve što ministarstvo radi, da stojimo da radimo u saradnji sa prvocinom grupom, a drugo svim ostalim zainteresovanim stranama. Kada su nacionalne manjine u pitanju, znači mi imamo nacionalne savjete s kojima redovno komuniciramo. Stručnjak je u kulturi, ustanove kulture, dakle zajedno se trudimo da ispuštujemo druga mišlja. I mislim, ja ne bih stvarno više nešto dužila, ja sam samo ovako pojetski raspoložena pa sam postavila sve pitanje gde počije inkluzija. Pa mislim da, uzimajući u obzir zaista sve što radi nacionalni savjet i organi javne vlasti, organizacije civilnog društva, negde postoji, znači vidi se da postoji volja da se postigne inkluzivno društvo. Naravno, razvojne perspektive uprave, ustanova kulture, udruženja, korisnika, ogleda su upravo međusobnoj saradnji, u spremnosti da se uvek menjaju i neke ideje i postavljaju neke principe. Ipak ono što je važno jeste izgraditi ispravno stavu ljudima koji nas opružuju, nezavisno od toga šta je u njima ili na njima različito od nas samih. Tek tada kada krenemo od sebe, odnosno oslobodimo se neosnovanih stavova i predubeđenja, a razlike shvatimo više kao svakidašnost i bogatstvo, pre nego kao preprek ili problem, i sami ćemo da oprinuti stvaranju inkluzivnog društva. I tu počinje inkluzija, dakle u nama sami. Hvala. Dobar dan, sam kompanija za les. Kao što vidite, ja imam lično interesovanje za temu inkluzije i položaja nacionalnih manjina u našoj zemlji, zato što sam se time bavila još i na osnovnim studijama i ta tema mi je uvek bila interesantna. A sada imam tu odgovornost i zadovoljstvo da se bavim razvojem ljudi i njihovom integracijom, ali i procesima zapošljavanja u jednoj velikoj kompaniji kao što je Dele Srbije. Naša kompanija postoje u osnovi sa istim vrednostima u svakoj od zemalja, pa i u Srbiji. Mi se zaista u svakodnevnom radu fokusiramo na to da budemo odlučni da ostvarimo svoje ciljeve, da postupamo onako kako govorimo, da pokažemo integritet, da budemo dovoljno hrabri i inovativni i pristupimo sa novim pristupima u poslovanju, ali da budemo i dovoljno odmerni da znamo da ipak, iako je naša kompanija velika, mi smo najveći i da god možemo još nešto da naučimo od ljudi svog obruženja i naravno od same situacije u poslovanju kako u našoj zemlji, tako i u svetu. Zahvaljujući ovom projektu, smatram da smo negde značajno uticali i na našu svest kompaniji i svijest naših zaposlenih koliko je važna raznolikost i koliko nas ona obogačuje kao ljude. A mislim da smo i sa druge strane doprizali domaćoj zajednici samim zapošljavanjem i uđenjem prilika osobama sa invaliditetom. Ovdje u ime vladinog ureda za ljudska prava i prava nacionalnih manjina Republike Hrvatske i u istinu još uvijek sam pod dojmom ove divne predstave ovog performansa koje smo imali vidjeti i negdje tamo iza kolise kada smo razgovarali, ja sam sa prijateljima razgovarala i rekla sam, čini mi se, svi smo ovo razumjeli na svoj način, ali ova riječica su to najbolje razumjela. Ovako, ja bih vam zapravo, neću vas puno upoznavati sa zakonodavstvom, bio je to vrlo težak put, znate da je Republika Hrvatska ušla u Evropsku uniju i mi danas želimo svoja pozitivna iskustva prenijeti našim susjedima. Želimo zapravo da na one poteškoće na koje smo mi nailazili, oni ne nailaze. Ali svakako, bit će vjerojatno, budući da je to za svaku državu jedan specifičan 
ulazak, dakle svako ima svoje specifične probleme, pa će na taj način svako imati svoj specifičan put do ulazka u Evropsku uniju. Ured za ljudska prava i prava nacionalnih manjina je jedna stručna služba vlade Republike Hrvatske koja stručno i upravno koordinira poslove u vezi sa ostalivanjem ljudskih prava i prava nacionalnih manjina. Because of the, let's say, the framework or the topic and the way it was treated today, I will start introducing myself in a rather non-traditional way and not very conservatively maybe, but to give, especially the participants of, uh, of today's performance, an idea as well who I am. So, um, and I do this uh, to show you already at the beginning that the very different world we work in, in a way, from the world you work in or the world you perform in, um, picks up certain areas that actually have a lot, of thing to do, a lot to do with what you try to express through your artistic uh, work or what we heard from Dr. Manuel earlier through non-formal education. se nadvezala na kolegnicu iz Hrvatske koja je rekla da su deca ta koja su se automatski uključile. Jer nisam znala da deca nisu deo performansa. Tako da to su mi rekli, a deca su se ono uključile i tako dalje. A mi stari smo išli onako sa strane, ko ne čuja sada da izađemo nešto za napičenite. I tu je pojenta. Tu je pojenta da ako ćemo da radimo, treba da radimo sa najmlađima, jer jedan od takvih sistemski možemo da promenimo strane. Svi znamo koliko se mi iz godine u godinu zapravo sve teže menjamo.